to them and told. They always talk. We got names, dates, locations. Bolt gave us everything. Even for Gata. It seems your hunch was right, Captain. Makaros already making friends. He's meeting with his top advisor six hours from now. Location is the Hotel Lustig. It's in the center of the city near the old square. We have tier one groups assigned to handle this, but I don't think they'll make it in time. But you're close. Very. I'll contact you when it's done. Nekarov's council all together in the middle of a war zone. Sounds convenient. Overconfidence makes you careless. We'll infiltrate along two separate routes, so you and Yuri head for the church and provide overwatch. The city's locked down tight. We'll need a back door. Leave that to me. Welcome to Prague, gents. The resistance is expecting us. Have a click to the north. Let's get this over with. All right. I think we only have a few more uh, chapters to go because I've been looking it up. I can't believe how quickly it's it's gone through. And there's stealth mission. Gotta be sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Not normally a sneaky, uh, uh, like I, I don't normally like the going in silence type missions of sneaking around the stealth mission uh, but when I have somebody basically to piggyback off of like these guys here uh, I don't mind them as much that's why I was generally speaking never a, a huge fan of like uh, Splinter Cell uh, Metal, Metal uh, Gear Solid those type of games because I always tend to do some something stupid although I'm getting better at those uh, I have since started playing a lot of those ones that at one point I was horrible at that I'm starting to get not too bad at uh, so maybe just over my overall game skill has gotten better over the years and, and it, as a result uh, you know I'm getting better at those type of games I don't know but uh, I was just never a huge fan of the stealth genre but when I could follow these guys around I have no problem Hide the bodies. I can't think of any Call of Duty where we actually hid in the bodies. Could be wrong.
I should have probably mentioned this at the start, and I don't know if I, I actually did or not. Uh, I know during my Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare, or the first Modern Warfare, my playthrough of it was uh, alright when it comes to the audio, but the second one, uh, there was a few instances where my voice was getting drowned out by, you know, the gunfire and stuff, especially in a game like Call of Duty where everything's like non-stop gunfire. Uh, you know, it didn't make for an enjoyable experience, but no one actually complained. I didn't see anybody complain in the comments, so uh, it annoyed me maybe more than it annoyed the other people watching. Uh, so hopefully in this one, it actually sounds decent. I, I adjusted my settings. I actually did a test uh, before uh, just to see how it would sound, uh, but hopefully it uh, sounds good kind of weird bringing that up now with with the game pretty much over but uh, yeah I don't know, I feel ha like I have to be quiet during this, mainly because I have to actually listen to what he wants me to do, sometimes uh, when uh, talking. Okay. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Oh, shit. <laughs> But yeah, sometimes, uh, you know, when you're talking, doing your live commentary like this, you tend to uh, overlook certain things. Short range scope. Oh. It's kind of cool, I guess. I think I'll stick with this, but where is it? It's kind of neat, though. I never really used the uh, uh, whatever you call it, like the double, the hybrid sights. I just never liked them. I, I don't know what it is. I, I used to see people use them online, but uh, I was never a huge fan of them. I always tend to stick when it comes to an automatic. Like an assault rifle or whatever, I tend to stick with just the red dot. Uh, depending on the guns though, like the the scar, for instance, as you, I'm sure you've seen uh, in some of my uh, COD videos, uh, I tend to just go with the silencer and the uh, you know extended mags if I'm gonna pick a second attachment. But uh, but I usually go with, you know if, if it's not as general rule, I usually go with the red dot. And then when it comes to a uh, sniper, I usually just kind of leave it with the default uh, scope. Okay, I guess. Oh, here. Holy crap. That was some fail aiming right there. Can't pick this back up. See, I swear to God, this crazy dude friggin' always has to like yell at me.
It's like, no matter what I do, he's always like, fuck Yuri. <laughs> Okay, so I can still go down here. So we got like these freedom fighters now. Oh my god, friggin' grenades! Oh my god! They throw a grenade, I'm gonna be boned. I did take out the turret. There. Oh, there's two turrets. Okay. That's why he was saying turrets. Come on. I'm just trying to get over here to. Reload, there we go. I know, I see you. Can we go in here? It's near. Bunga boom. This is all by plan. You haven't impro improvised yet. I mean, improvises since day one, baby. So that's it for that one, on to the next one.